Hi, it's Katrina. From new artifacts from Pompeii to new species of prehistoric creatures, here are 11 archaeological treasures that were recently discovered. Number 11. Bronze Age Hoard when amateur metal detectorist Marit Stepien discovered a Bronze Age treasure hoard in Peebles, Scotland, he literally shook with happiness. This was even before learning it was one of the most significant finds of its type ever made in the country's history. Stepien said, I thought I've never seen anything like this before and felt from the very beginning that this might be something spectacular and I've just discovered a big part of Scottish history. He hid a bronze object just a few feet underground. Then there was more and more. One of the most important things was a preserved horse harness made of wood and leather with rings and buckles dating back to at least 2000 BC. It was the first time we have seen how harnesses were made so long ago. The collection, which was found roughly 22 miles south of Edinburgh, consists of jewelry, the horse harness, buckles, ornaments, a 3000 year old sword and more, according to authorities. Stepien was with his friends when he made the discovery, and they contacted the government's treasure trove unit immediately. They even camped out at the site throughout the 22-day excavation. The artifacts, which are now at the National Museum's Collection Center in Edinburgh, constitute the second-ever discovery of a Bronze Age treasure hall in Scotland, Treasure Trove Unit Director Emily Freeman told CNN, adding that researchers are still working to understand why the objects were left behind. Number 10. Calpea. The story of Calpea begins in 1996 with the discovery of ancient human bones in a cave at the southernmost tip of Gibraltar. According to National Geographic, archaeologists found the skeleton, including a damaged skull, beneath sediment layers of fish, bird, and mammal bones, as well as flint tools. The bones ended up at the Gibraltar National Museum, where their age remained a mystery for over two decades. Then, in 2019, a DNA analysis identified the skull as belonging to a woman who lived in the region around 7,500 years ago. Dating back to 5,400 BC, the bones constitute the oldest modern female remains ever found in Gibraltar. Thanks to genetic analysis, we now know that the woman's ancestry originates from across the Mediterranean, far east of the Iberian Peninsula. This invaluable discovery is helping researchers trace the indescribably complex history of human migration during the spread of agriculture across Europe. The Neolithic woman, nicknamed Calpea, was brought to life through a forensic anatomical reconstruction of her face, courtesy of the Gibraltar National Museum. Computer technology helped repair the broken and missing parts of her skull. This information, combined with details gleaned from Calpea's DNA, culminated into a lifelike representation of the individual who was found as nothing more than bones. Years went by before scientists were able to successfully extract DNA from Calpea's bones, thanks to rapidly advancing technology, which is bringing us closer than ever before to a face-to-face -face look at our past. And now for number 9, but first, it's giveaway time! I wanted to give a big thank you to all of you who are watching and supporting Origins Explained. We are actually having a giveaway right now! Winners will be able to choose a t-shirt from our Origins Explained merch. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment with hashtag OriginsFam to let me know you want to participate. Check the description box and pin comment below for more information. Number 9. Ancient Savings in October of this year, archaeologists conducting routine excavations in Jerusalem prior to the construction of an elevator discovered a small 1,000-year-old jug containing four gold coins. Yevgenia Kapil, an inspector with the Israel Antiquities Authority, found the clay vessel, which is barely larger than a coffee cup, near the Western Wall Plaza in the historic Old City area. When excavation director David Gelman turned the cup over a few weeks later, the four coins fell out. This is the first time in my career as an archaeologist that I have discovered gold, and it is tremendously exciting," Gelman said in a recently released statement. The coins all dated back between 940 and 970 AD, making it easy for researchers to determine the discovery's age. At the time, the surrounding region was undergoing major political changes, which are reflected in the coins' designs. Two of the coins were minted in central Israel between 946 and 961, under the leadership of Sunni Caliph al-Muti, while the other two were manufactured in Cairo under Shiite ruler al-Mu'its. 
This dash, which represents the first gold cache from the Fatimid period found in Israel's old city in over a half century, may have been just a portion of someone's wealth or their entire savings, explained IAA coin expert Robert Kuhl. Four dinars was a considerable sum of money for most of the population, who lived under difficult conditions at the time, Kuhl said in a statement. It was equal to the monthly salary of a minor official, or four-month salary for a common laborer. Number 8. Giant Prehistoric Animals Venezuela might be famous for its oil reserves, but there are other valuable items that sit beneath the soil's surface. Thousands of prehistoric fossils have turned up in surveys conducted by oil companies, including an ancestor of the modern armadillo the size of a Volkswagen Beetle called a Glyptodon, a saber-toothed tiger, a crocodile bigger than a bus, a 10-foot pelican, an iguana-like featherless chicken, and an Ice Age mastodon. Additionally, scientists have uncovered the remains of giant sloths who lived in the ground in burrows rather than in trees like their modern counterparts. They were also huge with enormous claws. The collection of around 12,000 fossils dates from 14,000 to 370 million years ago. Most were found north of the Orinoco River, where the Atlantic Ocean formed 200 million years ago. Ascania Rincón, head of the Laboratory of Paleontology at the Venezuelan Institute for Scientific Research, wants to search for prehistoric human fossils in the area and to simply continue preserving as many remnants of ancient creatures as possible. They have found many new prehistoric species but haven't revealed what they are yet. Preparing fossils for official classification is a painstaking process that requires cleaning sediment, transporting the goods, and washing them before comparing them with similar specimens. This demanding but important work has the paleontologist and his colleagues racing against the clock with a very small budget. Number 7. Pompeii's New Treasures The ancient Roman ruins of Pompeii keep revealing more and more secrets. Even though it was discovered several centuries ago, in 1748, new things are constantly being uncovered. Earlier this year, archaeologists announced the first major discovery of a treasure trove of artifacts at the site in over a half century as part of what's called the Great Pompeii Project. The excavations encompassed a small area called Region 5, which includes two houses known as the House of the Garden and the House of Orion. Among the finds are vibrantly colored frescoes, mosaics, and murals, coins, amulets, horses, and human remains. One particularly intriguing discovery consists of graffiti scrawled across a wall by a worker, stating the date, October 17th, along with a joke to the effect of he ate too much. This bolsters the theory of some scholars that the volcanic eruption that buried Pompeii in 79 AD happened in October rather than August, as some historians have said. Additionally, archaeologists found signs of survivors in the form of cartwheel tracks left behind by those frantically fleeing the city. Others were not so lucky. In November of this year, archaeologists revealed the exceptionally well-preserved remains of two men who were killed by the eruption. One was a man of high status, with the remains of a woolen cloak under his neck. The other is believed to have been his slave due to a number of crushed vertebrae, indicating that he did heavy labor. The men's teeth and bones were preserved and they were most likely trying to escape when they were hit by a thermal shock by the volcano and were basically vaporized. The archaeologists filled the voids left behind with plaster to make a cast of their human form. Then they were excavated to show the outline of their bodies. There are more artifacts waiting to be discovered at Pompeii, one third of which remains unexplored. Even after all is said and done, experts will likely never know exactly how many people perished in the tragic eruption, although they estimate the death toll at around 2,000 out of 15,000 residents. Number 6. Roadside Stash in June of this year, metal detectorists from a historical and exploration association in Poland found over 500 17th century silver coins in elk. The goods were discovered during a survey of a construction site, and good thing the law requires a search before digging commences. The 507 coins originate from various European countries, including Poland, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Scotland. There are varying denominations and date back to the first half of the 17th century and were buried in a clay pot. Archaeologists found the treasure trove beneath a pile of debris. The most recent coin is dated to 1652, indicating that someone, possibly an innkeeper, local merchant, or soldier, buried the hoard around then. 
At the time, the area was part of the Prussian Duchy and was situated along a major trade route between Konigsberg, modern-day Kaliningrad, Russia, and the historic Masovia region in northeastern Poland. Researchers do not know who the coins belong to or why the person hid them for safekeeping, but the decision makes sense given the turbulent nature of the period. Number 5. Egypt's Biggest Discovery of the Year Over the last several months, archaeologists have unearthed over 100 and counting sealed wooden mummy-filled coffins at Saqqara, the ancient Egyptian burial ground south of modern-day Cairo. In a recent statement, Secretary General Mustafa Waziri of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities stated that people are asking how many coffins did we find. The answer is, I don't know yet. They are very excited. See, not everything is terrible this year, I guess. In early September, archaeologists had unearthed just 13 coffins. At the beginning of October, the tally was up to 59. The mummies were priests, according to hieroglyphics on their vibrantly painted sarcophagi, most of which date back between 688 BC and 525 BC, during Egypt's 26th dynasty, although some are from as recent as the 1st century BC. Additional artifacts at the site include funerary masks and 40 statues of the deity Ta Soker, who is a combination of Ta, the god of Memphis, and Soker, the god of Saqqara. These archaeological treasures sat untouched for over two millennia, a significant and rare discovery in a region where valuable sites are often looted. A Smithsonian Channel docuseries called Tomb Hunters will detail the findings and is scheduled to air next year, so stay tuned! Number 4. Antique Coin Hoard Last month, South Carolina couple and new homeowners James and Clarissa Munford stumbled upon literal treasure when they moved into their new home. Turns out there were dozens of antique gold and silver coins in the built-in drawers of a closet. Who forgets that? Always check your drawers when you move, or if you travel. Contained within two cases were 45 Gold Liberty $5 coins, and 18 Morgan silver dollars minted during the 19th century, worth thousands of dollars now. They looked real old, like they were really worth a lot of money, James told CNN. The couple, who are both Army veterans and recent retirees, did the noble thing and returned the hoard to the previous homeowners. I was just thinking, you know, they're not mine, said James. They're probably a family heirloom, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure he gets them back. The coin's value was a non-factor in the decision to get them back to their rightful owner, according to Clarissa, who explained that the couple did not even think about what they might be worth when deciding to return them. The previous homeowner had forgotten about the stash, which he estimated as worth around $25,000. He was grateful to the Munfords, who he admitted could have probably sold the coins without him noticing, and offered the couple one key piece of advice when he went to pick up the hoard, that there's no telling what else you might find in the house. Maybe more treasure? Hopefully nothing creepy. Number 3. Shipwrecked Treasure Earlier this year, 43-year-old treasure hunter and metal detectorist Jonah Martinez discovered a trove of coins along Florida's Treasure Coast, very properly named. The collection of Spanish currency is worth an estimated $6,000 and consists of 22 silver coins dating back to a 1715 shipwreck. On July 31st of that year, 12 treasure-laden Spanish galleons encountered a brutal hurricane and 11 of the vessels went down. Martinez, who had been metal detecting in South Florida for over 24 years, was with his friends when he made the spectacular find. You don't know what you're going to find, Martinez told CBS 12 News, adding that he and his buddies are not primarily motivated by the prospect of hitting it big financially. We are not trying to profit out here, we're just collecting pieces of history. That's cool if you ask me. I agree with him, don't you? The lucky finder said he did not plan to sell the coins, but to instead set them aside with other treasures he's found over the years. To this day, most of the treasure from the 11 wrecked ships remains underwater. Number 2. Bronze Age Treasure A so-called groundbreaking collection of artifacts dating back to the Bronze and Iron Ages was declared treasure earlier this year in Shropshire, England. The five hoards found at the site consist primarily of tools, according to Bronze Age specialist Pete Reville, who spoke with the BBC, stating, All are prehistoric finds and really important to the story of Shropshire. One batch of tools dating back between 750 BC and 650 BC contains an extremely rare assortment of both bronze and iron axe heads. Reville added that this was the first time tools from both periods were discovered together in Britain. With iron axes of this period, they are basically learning how to use the metal, he explained. 
Another hoard consists of two gold rings inside a lead ingot, constituting one of just a handful of Bronze Age lead objects ever found in the country. The artifacts were all found within a square mile of one another, leading Reveal to theorize that they were left as offerings to inclement weather. Erosion caused by climate change helped to reveal the objects in 2017 and 2018, and the discoveries are helping experts better understand the everyday lives of the region's past societies. Number 1. Nazi Silver During World War II, the German military used the ruins of Nowysatch Royal Castle in Poland to store ammunition and carry out executions. The 14th century structure sat next to the ghetto, where the Nazis relegated at least 20,000 Polish Jews to a hellish life of overcrowding, starvation, and forced labor. In June of this year, a team of metal detectorists from the Historical and Exploratory Association discovered a cache of 103 silver objects buried in a rusted chest at the castle. Inside the chest were Polish and Austrian silver goblets, vases, diningware, cutlery, all in pristine condition, despite the worn state of the chest they were found in. Archaeologist Bartolome Urbanski explained in an interview with the First News that the objects were likely used in Jewish rituals. The items likely date back to the late 19th or early 20th century and were probably stolen from families' homes by the Germans, who planned to return to the burial site to retrieve them later on, but never made it back for whatever reason. Experts are conducting further studies on the objects with plans to display them in a local museum. They also continue to search for more artifacts of the castle, which Polish soldiers reclaimed in 1945. Thanks for watching! Would you like to learn about more recently discovered treasures? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!